someone doesn't have to be out in the woods too long to feel like I might not belong here and something is going to take me out. I've been a journalist for about 25 years, embedding with street gangs, going undercover as a neo-Nazi skinhead. And I'm going to tell you the craziest story I've ever heard. I was working on a cannabis farm up in Northern California. I remember a guy telling me about three bodies torn to pieces. He said, a Bigfoot killed those guys. A Bigfoot murdered three guys on a dope farm. There's always been rumors of legendary violence. The story of Sasquatch or of man-like monsters has been with us from the very beginning. There's a belief in supernatural forces that runs deeper up here than most places. You believe that Sasquatch can teleport? And no. Uh, yes, you do. No, I yes, do you not. Do. You do. Do not go there. The Emerald Triangle is famous worldwide for producing cannabis plants. It's just the best in the world. People came here to get rich quick. They don't want outsiders up there. The rate of missing persons cases is the highest in the United States by far. Old time cannabis growers are willing to sit down and talk to me, but there's no way they're ever going to go on camera. Plenty of people have been killed up there and never found. I'm venturing into dangerous territory with all these hippies listening to the Grateful Dead, but packing an AR-15. We probably have more bodies than we could even count. It's pretty bad. Tell me about the crime that your son witnessed. I really can't talk about that. People pass through here, and they just see how beautiful it is. They have no idea the shit that goes on in this area. As scary as some of these stories are, we still want to figure it out. People are afraid of the unknown. The evidence convinces me that Sasquatch is dangerous. It scared the crap out of me. I don't know if I believe in Bigfoot, but I sure as hell believe there are monsters among us.